All right, everybody, it's our Clow here, and uh, I don't think we're paying enough attention to the fact that this is a real bill going through Congress right now. House Resolution 642 for recognizing magic as a rare and valuable art form as well as a national treasure, and it is really, in all traditional senses, beyond comprehension as to why on earth Congress would be voting on such a bill in the midst of the climate of the world that we currently live in. And so I'm going to really delve into this today. I've brought this bill up a number of times in my previous videos and shown you a lot of very fascinating connections and information. So as always, be sure to familiarize yourself with my previous posts as well as occult research in general as the more you understand, um, the more clearly you'll be able to um, comprehend the information that I'm trying to present to you. So uh, with that, let's jump right into this here. And before I start showing you all sorts of fascinating things, um, I just want to look at some of the wording in the bill here for uh, what is conveyed and I guess what is really implied if this is to pass. And so I want you to see uh, just how much credit they give magic. Here you have, whereas many technological advances can be directly traced to the influential work of magicians. Whereas one of the greatest artists of all time, Leonardo da Vinci, was inspired by magic and co-wrote one of the very first books on magic in the late 15th century, all right? And the importance of that 15th century being mentioned in here, the number 15, the devil card. Um, I want you to know as well, of course, we're going to talk a lot about all of the other figures in here. Copperfield, who you see highlighted a number of times, and so I'll connect him here, you see as well. Whereas Mayor Eric Hogue, who learned the art of magic as a child, continues to use those skills to teach elementary school students about the different roles and responsibilities of local government, all right? And so I want to talk about Eric Hogue a lot, and notice he does have a direct connection with David Copperfield and all of this, this very bizarre story from you. U.S. News, uh, opening with the line of him uh, dressing as a clown, as a shy 15-year-old. Again, I'm going to really reiterate that number throughout here, but again, notice in the bill, Copperfield up here, you can see it appears eight times, and I want to connect this to Charles Dickens today as well, because David Copperfield is the name of his eighth novel, and so it's also phenomenally interesting that the number of pages in the first book are six. 624, the same digits present in the bill 642, with the last two simply being inverted. And I can even take you one step further in interpreting that and noticing here that this 2D is 24, which if we invert as 42 and add those together, we get 66. All right, so immensely important that 66 popping up in there. I'm going to talk about all of that uh, a lot in, excuse me, in a lot more depth as we go on here. Um, but let's get back to this bill here um, because I want you to see just some more stuff here. Whereas magic transcends any barrier of race, religion, language, or culture. Now, isn't that interesting? I'm sure a lot of you are cringing right now um, at that thought. And so it's very interesting, though, that you have this here. Okay, so you see, whereas there is not an effective national effort to support and preserve magic. So they're wanting to completely change the way that it is viewed and appreciated in the world. And you can even connect this to the massive influence of Harry Potter um, and uh, the just <laughs> conditioning uh, is the word right there to, to go along with all of this. All right. And so notice here that resolved. Um, so what they're aiming to do is recognize it. It, right as we said in the beginning as a rare and valuable art form as well as national treasure but they also want to make sure that there are supporting efforts to make certain that magic is not only preserved but also understood and promulgated all right that means to effectively be integrated into institutions and taught and accepted as a conventional means of interpreting things and that is very interesting all right so now now, 
if you feel inclined to dismiss this sort of research that I do in this video, know that your Congress is currently trying to vote right now to make sure that it is legalized. And so that is a very interesting, interesting concept to say the least. So now let's get into this. Let's look here at House Resolution 642. How fascinating it is that if we take 642 and add its inversion of 246, it is 8 Eight, eight. And so the immense importance of that that I've gone over in a number of my videos, I really cannot overstate um, how it comes up. And you will just notice uh, that it is always in paramount notions such as solve et coagula, which is dissolution and coagulation. This is a principal alchemical term and is also on the goat of Mendes inscribed on his forearms. But in any case, you see holy number three eights. And so all of these, um, if you were to go through and check them out, you do have reference every time uh, to the triple eight being a very holy, a very powerful number. Um, and so here, uh, for there are love and love, again, Crowley discerning the difference between the two, you see written down here, 800. 88 and so again and again um, there are many many important aspects to this again if you're curious about how he differentiates love you see he writes there is dove and there is the serpent okay and so again you look at all of the coding I have written out there for you and it's very fascinating stuff because there's references to the 33rd degree of Freemasonry another government false flag operation and worship or reverence of Satan as a deity okay so so be sure to familiarize yourself with that, with all of those works. Again, 99, um, one of the just major concepts I've been outlining for you throughout all of this. Notice triple eight coming up in that as well, decoding Beyonce's lemonade. If you were to think back to that CNN article, all of these words are eight letters, that triple eight, I get that from Mike Will made it as well. Um, it's really outstanding how far the triple eight reaches just in all of this. And so notice as well, um, in decoding Beyonce's lemonade, it is interesting because of that triple eight, um, you see 114, okay, just like the 114th Congress that is voting on this bill, okay, very, very interesting, all right, so look through all this, again, I've covered it in a number of my previous videos, and I do have a lot to show you today that I have not gone over. So do notice though the Judas be my guide and to be continued references as well. So let's start this with Representative Pete Sessions. Again, just a quick recap here uh, because uh, Representative Pete Sessions is the one who introduced the bill um, and I have talked about him a lot in the past. His birth date of uh, March 22nd, that 322, the skull and bones number, the year 1955, again, uh, one of the numbers that I am just immensely attracted to and in figuring out its encoding is absolutely everywhere. Um, and I've also talked about that 27 years later to the day, uh, Iron Maiden released uh, their album, The Number of the Beast, okay? And so a lot of connections I've shown you there, and especially the immense importance of the number 27, inverted, it is is obviously the number 72 uh, which is the age of Aleister Crowley at his death and so that's very interesting to think about when we see here that uh, the first thing coming up for Rep Pete Sessions the way he is listed in this bill as well as in this article over here from US News that I'll talk about um, but do notice the law of Thelema water bearer blood shower okay the voice of Lucifer reference to divine comedy and the idea of the World Bank killing Obama. So notice his English in simple values, that 1596, that was the number of days between the assassination of JFK and MLK, so immensely important. Do see there reference to the 36th triangle. Remember that is the number 666. You also see the Smithsonian Museum, and so just to keep rubbing this in against Ben Franklin here, this article from the Smithsonian in which you see him living at 
36 Craven Street. Okay, and again, you see it written down here, 36 Craven, 3 and 6 as 9, C as 3, that 93, that master Thelemic number. Um, but again, with the 15 bodies being found underneath his house, all right, of all the numbers they could have mentioned, and notice here the 1200 the sacrifice card, the hanged man, and so all very interesting stuff. Be sure to go and read that article. Uh, but so keep moving here, though. If we were to actually look into uh, Pete's real name here, you see here Peter Anderson Sessions. And so um, again, typing that all the way out, I want you to see that the values for his first initials here p a s do come down to 711 711 if we reduce it 7 times 11 we do get 77 again immensely important to keep track of that all right so notice here um, if we take the name numbers we get 588 and so 588 a uh, very interesting number here let me pull it up for you uh, on the side i want you to see how it comes up as the same english value for cootie rock and so in Important uh, because not only do you see his inverted 93 in his initials there, um, but you also have the fact that he is the one who directed Erica Badu's window seat music video in which she is assassinated in Dealey Plaza and then in the remix video is reincarnated and goes on a killing spree so I'll talk about that more later and again be sure to check out my videos but look over here because the Jewish value here is the same as inspired by Matt and Kim okay and so why that is so crucial is because that is how the window seat music video begins as you can see um, I have on the screen screenshot there for you so absolutely fascinating but before I delve further into that and you do see murdered JFK in there notice that the 588 if you do 5 times 88 to reduce that down, it is immensely important because it is the number of the Antichrist, all right? So notice that Jewish value there. Again, all of the stuff we've talked about that as coding uh, for something. But see here, another false flag, shed blood for man, the annihilation, and conspiracies, okay? So all very interesting. Um, and so you notice here the English and symbols for 440 since I'm on it. Down below here, the chosen ones of the global. Globalist, Illuminati, Cabal, as well as clowns scare me sometimes, don't know why. And so we're going to talk about Eric Hogue in direct connection to that in just a moment. But to expand on this Jewish value up here of 1024, I do want you to see ancient Holy Spirit as well as reference to Leonardo da Vinci. All right. And so again, he's mentioned in this bill for legalizing magic, as it were. Okay. And so take a look down here. Um, you do see the English and simples for the system is corrupt, secret, satanic, sorority. Again, that would be 111, which has an English value of 666. Very interesting. And also U.S. chemical and biological attacks. All right, what we should absolutely be worried about. So now expanding off of this idea here of uh, clowns scare me sometimes don't know why it's very interesting again that that is the opening line essentially reference uh, referenced in this US news article with Eric Hogue dressing as a clown starting to do so as a 15 year old and all the way through college and what a <laughs> What a bizarre thing I'm sorry but just what a bizarre thing um, and so notice here for Eric Hogue, who is a huge proponent for this bill, as I showed you, he is also mentioned in this bill. Um, and so you do have reference to Thelema Beast, death scandals, as well as 15 degrees, important concept there. So notice this English and symbols down below. You do have reference to Spirit, Phoenix, Darkness, as well as Asteroid, POTUS, again, President of the United States. You see Holy Land, Stargate, Sodomy, 11th. All right, he's got some very negative things things coded with him here, Mark of Cain, as well as Dark Moon, Cruel Fate, Final Days, and so on, all right? And so it's really weird uh, with Hogue because not a lot of information is really readily available on him. If you look into any of the stuff, you can't really find a birth date or anything useful to, to trace him really and so um, I don't have it pulled up here, but I'll try to remember to find it in a link for you. Um, 
He is cited as being 51 years old and having the middle name of Lee. And so if I were to type in Eric Lee Hogue, do notice I see Freemasons, the Aeon of Matt, the Egg of the Aeon, again, tremendously important, connected to the triple six. But do notice Death Incarnate, Bringer of Death death to America as well as clipothic magic all right and spelled properly with the K and again clipothic being referential towards the inverted tree of life uh, driving people supposedly towards negative energy towards misery suffering death homicide all of those things uh, but again 11 points on it notice the 11th again coded just with Eric Hogue there uh, but you see again the seal of fate as well as the sacrificial lamb now I want you to Notice his English and symbols uh, do give direct reference to Apocalypse as well as Neron Caesar and the universe. And so, uh, again, for those of you not familiar with the story of Nero, please be sure uh, to look into it because it is absolutely fascinating and the connections here um, are immensely important I feel in a lot of ways as far as what Nero was trying to accomplish when he set Rome ablaze all right and so be sure to look into that uh, but do notice here as well reference to the shining very important the sun god as well as dishonest the hand of fate luminary and salvatore and so this I wanted to talk about a bit because Really, any excuse, again, to talk about Lana Del Rey and her connection to all of this is very important to me. Again, remember on the previous channel, uh, the original R Cloud taken down by YouTube, I did talk extensively about Lana Del Rey. Again, you see the cover for her Honeymoon album here, having Starline Tours, and um, again, from the movie Mars Attacks, uh, bus with that same jive drives by and immense connections here, but to stay on track today, do notice here uh, the release date of September 18th, again the ninth month, 1 and 8 is 9, so that double 9, 99, just like uh, as associated with the triple 8 we were discussing earlier, and again, uh, you'll see here the uh, length, 6 and 5 as 11, and so notice here, very bizarre connection there, because you would have 11, 6, drop that zero and that is the number 116,000 number of units sold but not only that 11 times 6 giving us the ever important 66 uh, which I have talked about immensely in the past again very important because it is the inverted version of the 99 but so notice here for Salvatore uh, this is track 10 just like Judas be my guide um, that I've talked about off of that Fear of the Dark album, and that came up again in relation to the Triple Eight. Uh, but so you'll see here the length is 441. Again, 44 times one would maintain that as the kill number, the magic number. Um, and then looking at it as 441, you can see here reference to forehead to be sealed and Crowley's prolific phrase, so mote it be. Again, this is on a. Uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, uh, their third album inscribed on um, the actual vinyl there, and so I did a video on that a while back as well on the Legends of Light channel, but you do see Masonic Grand Lodge, MK Ultra, Grand Architect, Epitome of Deceit, The Plans of God, and Land of Darkness. Now, the simple value for 441, uh, Bloodthirsty Madman with No Self-Control, as well as uh, reference to those with 13 letters in their name. And I thought that was interesting because I did just do the video on Anthony Kiedis, um, who does that's a 13-letter name with both of those there. Again, that's the death card as well, uh, but very interesting. But do see here, um, the earth and all its works will be destroyed all right that would be reference to returning us to the zero that is silence that is back to the perfection in the state of balance all right so look here um, for mayor eric hogue again another way that we could look at him um, and especially because that is how he is referenced in the actual uh, bill here right mayor eric hoax so take a look here again he's the mayor of wiley texas wt52 i've been talking about that um, in connection to that new chili peppers album that song dark necessities think about that uh, is five minutes and two seconds long again all the connections to uh, adele and danger mouse her album 25 the inversion of that 
so on and so forth. Be sure to see those other videos. I don't mean to uh, sidetrack there, but it is fascinating when you start putting it all together uh, because the connections are very immense and very, very compelling, all right? Um, and so again, that number 52 being directly connected to the word devil. Um, and so that's the whole connection there for you. But notice here, uh, Mayor Eric Hoag, reference to Legion of Beelzebub, all right? Also known as the Lord of the Flies, something I've discussed as well as in the past. But notice here, the English and symbols are the same as the seventh seal and used and abused books, all right? And so the seventh seal, obviously having an immense amount of connections that I've shown you um, to not only the uh, World Formation Tour, but also the release of Erica Badu's film, The Land. Uh, but so again, this used and abused books from the Family Guy episode uh, that I talked about uh, quite a while back now, but just as relevant as ever uh, to be familiar with, uh, because the connections in that are fascinating. You have the direct reference to prediction and programming. And again, um, when I was breaking it down, I got the date May 24th. You see that it is three days after the full flower moon. I've shown you a lot of coding, um, especially with the seventh seal saying something is to take place three days after this moon. Okay, so all very fascinating stuff here. But so take a look here uh, through all of this. You see reference to Barack Hussein Obama as well as final antichrist rise to power all sorts of references to Obama being shot, rising from the dead, but look here because you do get the phrase spelled out 878, all right? And so very important because again, this is where, um, what's her name, Beyonce is going to be playing on the same day that Badu's film, The Land, is released. It says, as you can see, three months and three days into her tours. Again, immense importance of 33. Um, but look through this coding here for 878. You do see science fiction is not fiction. Down below, messages revealed, satanic rulers, Luciferian mason, and mystical arts. All right, all coming back to the fact that they're trying to legalize magical arts and what the implications of that really could be. So now let's go back to this article for a minute because um, there's some interesting stuff here about Hoag. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's a part of a club, as you can see on the back there. I do want to pull it up for you here so you can see it, though. It's a uh, Dallas Magic Clubs is the name. Here it is, right in the front, of course. Uh, but so notice he's a member of this. It's 120 uh, people in the club. Again, that 12 coming up in there. But so let's take a look at Dallas Magic Clubs. Notice it's the same as a real cup of coffee. This is the premise of the commercial that aired directly after uh, Kennedy's assassination here. And let me pull this up for you because there's some interesting stuff. Um, if you invert uh, that 501, okay, you do get that 105. This is directly connected uh, to Beyonce's Lemonade album uh, because it is, uh, uh, let me pull it up for you here. It's a lot easier. Um, and so let's see, 105. Do you notice again, it is coming up uh, for Rick Rubin days later. These are all components. Days later is how the remix video with him and Erica Badu starts again, where they go on a killing spree with each other. Um, and so I'll keep scrolling through here. There it is. So Beyonce's um, Lemonade, the visual album, one hour, five minutes. All right, one of those ways of looking at it is 105. And so you do get 911. Lightbringer, as well as Sudden Death, The World, you do see Masonry, Cliffhoth, and Vitriol. Again, immensely important concept with going to the interior of the earth, all right, and being led by divine will there, okay? So a lot of stuff uh, to absolutely be considered with that. But again, um, that 501, if we were to invert it, at 15, that devil card just again and again and again. But so do notice here um, that the phrase used books comes up for Dallas Magic Clubs and directly connected to Mayor Eric Hoag used and abused books all right no joke on that you do see the goat of Mindy's the camera cannot lie as well as crosshairs on a ritual medical misdiagnosis and the blessed silence again returning to zero and again notice this reference to a black hooded priest and so the English and simple values here fascinating um, it is the same as groupthink as well as Dallas Love Field and just those two being connected with each other because again this goes back to Badu's video 
in which she is uh, assassinated in Dealey Plaza, the words groupthink spilling out of her head there. Um, but so do notice that 5-5 five, five, uh, that we get from both of the words being those number of letters and G and T giving us 7-2. Again, the immense importance there, okay? But do notice that Dallas Love Field is where Kennedy was heading from when he was assassinated, all right? Case, uh, Casablanca Records uh, put out Kiss's Love Gun again talked a lot about that, the connections to Family Guy, um, and so do notice again Judas Be My Guide coming up in here. Direct reference to Freemasonry, Ancient Egypt, the number 69, I think on Egypt Air yesterday, the number of people uh, that were on the flight that just suddenly went off the radar was 69. Again, if we add that, it is 15. Uh, the Devil card reducing down to the Lover's card, all right? Do notice God is the Devil punishment i am the dark lord baptism of fire and imperial cult and so let's keep moving here let's start getting to david copperfield and charles dickens a little more so um i want to note here that david copperfield in this article um is cited as being introduced into here you can see here uh growing up in new jersey um again three six right there don't be fooled that is a very clever one um, as well as this reducing to 5, the letter N, and J reducing to 1, so the inverted 15 yet again there is very, very clever. All right, notice he is named a living legend by the Library of Congress, and so living legend that just kind of jumped out to me um, as a word that I should probably look into more for you because notice the LL, that is 3, 3, um, and both of those letters, um, or excuse me, both of the words are six letters, all right, and so... Uh, do notice here, oh, excuse me, I, uh, jumping ahead a little bit there, so I'll just, I will show you the living legend thing really quick, um, uh, because when you add the 3-3 three, three and the 6-6, six, six, you do get 9-9, nine, nine, all right, living legend coded with mind control technique, as well as having the English value of 720, there's that 72, and the simple value of 120, and again, remember, that is the number of members in Hoag's Magic Club. Direct reference here now to Illuminati, the architect, as well as True Will, Hidden Master, Secret Chiefs, and Thumbs Up. Now, I do want to uh, remind you for the word Illuminati, it is 10 letters and starts with I, the ninth letter. So 10 and 9 is 19. Again, all of this coming back to Worship of the Sun um, and the immense importance of that. But remember, Pete Sessions, the guy who introduced the bill, uh, is in his 19th year of Congress as well and so if you also look at the phrasing that they use for these bills I'm going to come back to that in just a second because thumbs up is very important but H res if we take this H and put it here it's the word resh which is the path of the sun card all right so now um, I do want to note for the thumbs up since I'm here um, that it is directly connected with worship of Kim. And so Kim is a very interesting Egyptian god here, all right? And so the way uh, that I found the reference to Kim was in uh, Aleister Crowley's uh, The Book of Toth. And so be sure to familiarize yourself with that um, because he does break down a lot of different hand symbols and it is very interesting to see uh, the roots as you trace them out. But do notice here uh, that Kim uh, was absolutely related to the idea of Pan, um, what the Greeks worshipped, um, and the card, um, sorry, but uh, do notice here that Kim's character marked by the assignment to him of a goat as his symbol and so it is important in the tarot cards that this is absolutely referential to Pan um, and so Kim would then also be referential to that. Kim is also related uh, to the idea of Baal as well um, and so a lot of connections to be had with this. Um, I'm going to leave you this article so you can read through it. Uh, this is from the Journal of Abnormal Psychology. Uh, it's published back in the early 19, like 16 or somewhere around there so uh, very interesting how that comes 
thumbs up and again uh, the importance of Kim and thumbs up and you think of how often uh, you see the thumbs up there all right so but in any case let me jump back here because it's all very important um, so recognizing magic as a national treasure all right coming back to N and T52 the importance of that the devil reference you also see the letters are uh, both words are eight letters so you have a nice 88 hanging out for you right there um, here's a breakdown of David Copperfield and his name uh, do notice you can get this 55 from the number of letters in his name 5 and 11 um, as well as getting this reduction here to 13 the death card alright so all very interesting um, and again just looking at his last name here remember um, I showed you he's from New Jersey um, being three and six letters and copper field a compound word uh, C and F three and six this nine eleven letters again that nine eleven or ninety nine all right so now um, <clears throat> Let me keep moving here. So again, uh, as I noted in the beginning, uh, Copperfield is mentioned eight times in the Magic Field, and the eight, uh, the Magic Bill, and Charles Dickens' eighth book was David Copperfield. All right, and so again, note the number of pages there. Um, and so, in looking at those three numbers, six two four, since the bill is six four two, and it's just that slight inversion there. Do notice here, if we look at the numbers 642, and remember they're anagrammic when you put them in there, so it could be it's the same reference as 624 at this point, but you get this idea of the Freemason beast called Triple Seven. And so I'm going to show you more on this, um, but do notice, of course, Crowley's uh, book on Gematria and other Kabbalistic writings, this triple seven here. Um, absolutely important that he puts that on the cover of that there, of everything uh, that could have gone. Now, I'm going to talk a lot more about that in a second, but look here, you see, I will cause them to eat flesh as well of the fear of God is the beginning of enslavement. That's very important. This idea of six day war, May 23rd, again, very interesting because that is the day before the 24th which I'm really interested to see what happens on, and you also see true power is sacrificed. Now notice his English and symbols for this are the same as 1956, and I'm going to point, uh, excuse me, pull that up for you on the side here, uh, because it is going to come up a lot. Remember, that is the number of days, I think it already came up in the video, um, but as the number of days in between the JFK and the MLK assassinations, again, notice their reductions to 77 with their initials there. Remember all the things I've discussed with that. Uh, but do see here 642, the same J value. 1020 is the same J value as David Copperfield, all right? And so both the book and the bill directly tied right there, okay? Look, World War III, as well as the royal family, the Church of Satan, the Great Pyramid. Again, think about the dollar bill. You also see divine bloodlines, gun confiscation, always on the tip of everybody's mind, as well as H-A-A-R-P earthquakes and genetic engineering. And again, something that is going on on unprecedented levels that are absolutely beyond the scale of what we're exposed to. So notice here, though, um, this 74... When this pops up, it's very interesting uh, because that is the same uh, value as uh, both Tony and Susan. Remember, Tony, short for Anthony, uh, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. His direct connections I've shown you, and Susan uh, having that... Um, being the only one who posts on Erica Badu's official fan site. So again, all the information I've shown you on that is very interesting, so be sure to go back and watch it. But let's keep going here for David Copperfield. Um, since I've talked about him a lot in the past, I will more or less just skip over, but do see Saturnalian Illuminati as well as Ancient Egyptian Bloodline and Unholy Church. Okay, his English and symbols, the same as Dallas Trademark, all right, where Kennedy was heading when he was assassinated as well as God of all things. And remember, um, that is uh, in reference to Obama being on the cover of Newsweek um, and being in the same pay, uh, excuse me pose as Shiva um, and all the interesting information there. But again, God of all things, the acronym is GOAT. Um, and something I've talked about a lot through these videos is the coding for the blood of a goat. Um, and again, you see that coding coming up with Judas Be My Guide. Um, and Mike Will made it, again, the producer for Beyonce's formation. Huge keystone to all of this research, tech 
XW Mars, very interesting, talks about Project Lucid Beast and the Super Beast computer, all very fascinating, all right? So again, uh, with all of that, you do still see it is the same coding as well as GB. 33ZB and crane operator and so those number license plate of Rick Ross and Eric Abadu's copy all right very interesting it's how the video ends um, and again that ALZ21 CCO all of that is connected right here uh, with this crane operator allegedly threatening to um, bring down the stage on Beyonce or wishing he could do so about with that and so all very important, but do remember he was a crane operator, CO36, again, 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 all right? Do notice, skull and bones, as well as 66, no turning back, small sacrifices, the path of resh and organization, all right? So I covered this living legends bit already here, and let me keep moving. Um... Because we're almost done. And so Charles Dickens, this is a huge piece here. Do notice that C and D, if we add them, 3 and 4 gives us 7. Both of his names are seven letters, and so you do get that triple seven from there. Um, and do remember, just right up here um, in this 624, 642, however you want to code it, the Freemason beast called triple seven, all right? And so notice all of this here, uh, his Jewish value, that triple one, four, you do that, you get that triple four there. Very interesting because we've looked at that a lot in the past, as I did just show you, Susan and Tony uh, share that coding, but it is also directly linked there with Order of Thelema, all right? Just like we see for his English, or the English and Simples for 777, all right? You also see Hell Worship, as well as Beyonce Divorce, again, as part of the huge publicity that was going on uh, with the release of her album and Jay-Z allegedly cheating. You do see also reference to Life is But a Dream and He is in the Hoax. Now, down below here for Charles Dickens, just take a look. Uh, you do see reference to Satanic Faith, Satanic Scam, Dark Angel of Light, and the Earth God. And so very important down here uh, when we see his English and symbols are the same as the Boondog because remember we saw uh, LaShawn Thomas come up earlier in that 440 coding uh, which is the same as Antichrist but remember everything I showed you uh, with him and uh, his remarks about uh, looking out for Sade but he is one of the animators for the boondock so there's that spelled out for you but now you do see again reference to John F. Kennedy as well as Super Bowls where Formation was debuted live the 50th Super Bowl 50th year of uh, Church of Satan this year so on on, but do also notice death penalty, serial killer, the great beast, and terrifying, all right? If we take Charles Dickens' birthday, break it down, we do get that 93, again, master thelemic number. And so going back here, um, just so you can take a look and get all this information if you want it here, his full name, Charles John Huffman Dickens, all right? So take a look here. You see the CIA is a satanic organization as well as chief angel of worship. There's Anton LaVey, again, founder of the Church of Satan. You do see CERN goes wrong and sudden alien invasion, something a lot of people are worried about, um, as well as the date July 8th. So very interesting anytime those are thrown out there. Notice down below, uh, the English and simple values um, have references to the return to the void and hidden messages in numbers, all right? Absolutely what I'm showing you here uh, with these gematric values. So do notice here uh, the publisher uh, for Dickens, Bradbury, and Evans, and again for this book, David Copperfield in particular. Uh, but so if we take a look at that, you do see for the love of money, as well as the divided name of Tetragrammaton, very important, um, as well as reference to the Mayflower, secretly adding human meat into the food, and humans were a mistake, all right? And so there's definitely um, a lot of solid information out there for you to see how human components are absolutely used um, in foods that we consume every day and wouldn't think twice about them being in there. So notice uh, the English and simple values here again, uh, that 912 and 152, same as nine years war. Again, familiarize yourself with Brave New World and the connections I've shown you there, but it's also the same as that spelled out ALZ. 
2-1-CCO, okay? Again, coming back to this threat to Beyonce, and again, that 2-1 in the middle there, the universe card, all the times that comes up. There's that 36 for you, Truman Show, the Path of Teth, which is the Lust card, the 11th card. Always important to see, but you also have Masonic imagery, Veiled Allegory, and Ticking Time Bomb. So just two last pieces for you here. Um, on the way out, notice uh, for Charles Dickens, uh, if you look here, his last words were on the ground. And so very bizarre to me. But notice for that you have Luciferian Mason, as well as a reference to um, the, that's supposed to be the king of the snakes, and the doctrine of lies. And so you do also see four of coins, uh, which would be four of discs. And so this is very interesting uh, because it is a card, uh, the key concept associated with it is power and it is ruled by the sun and it is uh, to represent law and order that are maintained by constant authority and vigilance and so it's definitely heavily associated with ideas of religion and government but do notice here uh, you have reference to the dark messiah as well as 21 okay just got done talking about that as well as age of aquarius tribulation uh, excuse me tribulation will of thelema the age of the Aeon. Again, remember all of those triple sixes I've shown you with the, I think it's 1410, uh, 230 something repeating number, um, and the golden egg of the Aeon of Matt, all of that. But you do see the egg of the Aeon coming up in here next to Hit the Target, Hairbinger of Death, and the Devourer next to Dark Molester. All right, so one last uh, variant on all of this for you House Resolution 642, all right, because that's the prime thing we're talking about here. If we spell it out like that, I do want you to see um, you get reference to seeing with your third eye and you get the number 1178 which is the same as uh, the 5% nation and so just to tie one last bit of this to Erica Badu for you here um, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, excuse me, it's 1176. And so there's that for you. Um, and again, you do see the same coding there to Rose Bowl, but Babylon Mystery, CERN, Triple Six, Trend of History, and New Orleans Hellgate. All right, and again, connecting that even to uh, Beyonce drowning in New Orleans in her formation video. Um, but notice here, um, just to connect this in with all this triple seven stuff, this is the seal for the 5% nation. And so what you have here effectively is eight points. Um, and so each of them has two sides to it. And so you have 16 going around here. The tower card, that is also obviously what number uh, into the new millennium we are here, 2016. But reducing that down, one and six as seven. And so you have that seven next to this seven right here. Um, and if we're really to take this symbolism, you have to look at this star right here. It has five points and the crescent moon, all right, as opposed to say a full moon which I couldn't count points on uh, but a crescent moon has the two so five and two not only that reference towards the devil but coming together for seven giving us a nice triple seven very very bl uh, brilliantly hidden uh, in the five percent nations logo there all right so that direct reference in the house bill here what I've shown you on that triple seven today and all those connections but see here uh, the English and simple values are the same as happy birthday Mr. President so that's pretty wild again think back to my ride Johnny ride video and all of the stuff I talked about with the assassination of Marilyn Monroe um, but do see here you have spelled out 666 as well as hermetic order of the golden dawn having been drugged and disoriented tree of knowledge of good and evil you see shattered the gears of reality abandon hope all ye who enter here and remember that is very interesting because in the beginning of this video um, we talked about out uh, the divine comedy being directly coded with representative Pete Sessions again the man who introduced this bill all right now notice again pharmaceutical corporations and the wonderful wizard of Oz again something I've talked about immensely in the past and which you should absolutely research much past the idea of Pink Floyd's uh, dark side of the moon syncing up with it um, as 
really the uh, connections between them are far more profound than that but so uh, with that let me wrap all of it up um, and just say you should really pay more attention to this bill what is going on with it what it really means um, and because it is not something we should be mindlessly putting through uh, Congress if you don't understand the true implications of magic, the far-reaching extent of it, what they're phrasing about it, and again, the fact that they do want to actually incorporate it into actual institutions to be uh, taught and accepted um, on a national scale, okay? So all very, very fascinating stuff. Um, please be sure to check out the other videos. I do want to thank everybody uh, who has been watching and subscribing it is greatly appreciated very inspiring to see all of the support uh, so thank you very much for that and as always please please be well